This might be the most anticipated lens for Leica in 2022. Or perhaps that's just me. Join me and I'll tell you more about it. Hi guys, Matt here from MrLeica.com. So yesterday I'm talking about a new lens released in 2022 for Leica M-Out and for Leica Screw-Mount. That is the key. A brand new spherical lens for Leica Screw-Mount cameras, such as my trusty Leica 2F that I have here. If you're a Leica fan, you'll probably know that all the lenses released in the last, I think, 10 plus years for Leica are Leica M-mount lenses. So those are now mostly made by Leica, of course, and then obviously Voigtland are probably the best two manufacturers of these lenses. And then there are also those made by Chinese manufacturers too, which can be very good from my testing, better than expected. All these lenses are like an M out, so that's great and all, but it means you're limited to like M cameras if you're shooting a film. Obviously, if you shoot digital, you can adapt it to anything. And so that's why the prices of like M cameras have just gone through the roof because people want to shoot film with these new amazing lenses, it could be the latest Apo lenses or spherical lenses from Voigtlander or Leica, for example, and you want to shoot film with them. So this is where it gets interesting. Voigtlander maybe heard our calls and our wishes and they're bringing us a brand new Leica screw-mount lens. Now, for those of you that don't know, Casino Voigtlander also released Leica screw-mount lenses in the early 2000s up to, I think, 2010, 2012. Many of the popular screw-mount lenses, such as the colour scope R lenses, you can get the 21mm scope R and 35mm scope R in both screw-mount and M-mount. You can get the screw-mount uh, Voigtlander Helier 15mm f4.5 for example. So there was a period in the early 2000s where Voigtlander started producing screw-mount lenses again and then after that there's been nothing until now 2022. So what is this lens? If you've seen my videos before you may have seen a video I've done on this lens. This is the Voigtlander Helier 40mm f2. It's a beautiful lens that flat packs to make it almost like a, a cap-sized lens design. The problem with this lens is it was designed for like M out, but it's got no helicoid, meaning this lens only works at infinity unless you use it on a Sony camera and use a helicoid adapter. Or now, the way I use it, I use it on like M mount cameras and use it with the Seven Artisans Close Focus Helicoid Adapter, meaning you can move the lens in and out, thereby being able to focus the lens at closer than infinity. So Voigtlander made the 40mm f2.8 for Sony some years ago. They also make the Voigtlander Helia 50mm f3.5. The 50mm 3.5 was made in screw mount as a special anniversary edition, the 101 anniversary. That lens came with the Voigtlander Better T camera. You can still sometimes see those as a pair on eBay if you want to pick up the, the 50mm version. I have that lens and it's really nice. And the benefit of that lens, it is screw mount. The more popular Helio lens from Voigtlander is the Voigtlander 50mm f3.5 like an M mount, which is the one that's got a bit of a weird shape. It's like a conical shape. Some people either love it or hate it. That lens is great, but it's not particularly small. What all these lenses have in common is the Helio design. The perhaps famous Helio design is five elements in three groups. Having less elements tends to mean in simple terms you get a cleaner shot, better clarity, and sometimes people say a better 3D pop to the image. The 53.5 in particular is well known for its 3D pop and it is a very sharp lens. It's a great lens. So what about this highly anticipated new lens? So this is the Casino Voigtlander 40mm f2.8 Helia Leica M mount as I say, but also available in like a screw mount. You can buy this lens in black or silver. And as you may expect, this lens is range finder coupled, brass built, built like a Leica, 10 blade design. So you're gonna get nice bokeh, 0.7 meter close focus distance. So it's gonna focus closer than vintage lenses. And it is multi-coated for that modern, high clarity, high contrast look. When it comes to weight, this lens is super light as well. 131 grams or 4.6 ounces. So I'm very excited to have it on my small like a Barnack cameras as a walk around lens. Buy it in silver so it matches the camera and then ready to go. There is however one drawback. If you're using like a screw mount cameras, being a 40mm lens, you're either gonna have to guesstimate 40mm kind of composition or you can get a 40mm viewfinder to go on the top of your camera. If I can put a link below to eBay, uh, I already own the Voigtlander 40mm Brightline Finder and I use that for my 40mm lenses if I want very accurate compositions with a 40mm lens. So that's the probably biggest drawback. If they make a 50mm perhaps f2 version, same size as this 40 2.8, that could be the ultimate lens we are maybe missing from the current lineup of all like M and screw mount lenses. 
a compact modern 50mm say f2 to complement all the brand new big fast 50mm lenses out there we've got lots of fast glass but we don't have many small compact modern lenses the smallest modern ish 50 i've got is the like a summer 50 f 2.5 and i bought that because it's small talking of the price this lens is going to cost 450 pounds if you're based in the uk check out robert white or if you're in the us you can buy them from camera quest $550 or $549. So roughly half the price of many of the popular latest releases from Voigtlander. And so with that said, I'm obviously very excited to try to get this lens to test. I hopefully do have one coming from Voigtlander UK. And as soon as I do, I'll do a full road test and share example photos with you. It's going to be bigger than the almost cap size original 40mm f2.8 but it's going to be smaller than the 50mm 3.5 Helia. So somewhere in between, it's a very nice kind of walk around size. I just want to see what the, the results are like on the camera. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button and feel free to subscribe below if you want to see the, the following full write-up of this lens when I'm testing it on the Leica screw mount cameras and Leica M cameras, film and digital. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks to my amazing patrons and enjoy the rest of your day.